abnormalities in carbohydrate and lipid metabolism. Metformin is a widely used oral anti-diabetic drug. Its clinical and metabolic effects are extremely beneficial in the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. So, in this video, I will be discussing the anti-diabetic actions of metformin and also explain the molecular mechanism of action of metformin. Metformin acts as an anti-diabetic drug primarily by inhibiting the hepatic glucose production. It does so by inhibiting gluconeogenesis, a pathway that is responsible for the formation of glucose from amino acids. So by inhibiting gluconeogenesis, the glucose production by the liver is reduced and this helps in lowering the blood glucose levels. The second mechanism is activation of insulin signaling pathway. By activating the insulin signaling pathway by increasing the expression of insulin receptors, the tyrosine kinase activity, the insulin activity is increased and this helps in glucose utilization by the muscle and adipose tissue and also inhibits gluconeogenesis in the liver. The third mechanism is inhibition of glucagon signaling. Glucagon is a counter-regulatory hormone. The actions are opposite to that of insulin. While insulin lowers the blood glucose level, glucagon increases the blood glucose level. It enhances the glucose production by the liver. So metformin by inhibiting glucagon signaling reduces the glucose production by the liver and helps in lowering the blood glucose level and helps to maintain glucose homeostasis. The fourth mechanism is reduction in glucose absorption from the gut. So metformin is known to alter microbiome of the gut, it alters the flora of the gut and this reduces the glucose absorption from the gut and this helps in lowering the blood glucose level. The fifth mechanism, metformin is known to reduce the food intake and by reducing the food intake, the body weight decreases. So this is useful in an obese patients because obesity is related to insulin resistance. By reducing the body weight, the insulin resistance decreases, the insulin sensitivity increases and this helps in regulating the blood glucose level and maintaining glucose homeostasis. In addition, metformin is a very useful drug for the treatment of diabetic patients with dyslipidemia with an abnormal lipid profile. Because metformin has a beneficial effect on the lipid profile, it reduces the LDL, VLDL and improves the protective lipoprotein such as HDL. So it does so by increasing the fatty acid oxidation in the liver, decreasing the release of free fatty acids into the circulation, reducing the lipid accumulation in the liver. So this is an overview of anti-diabetic actions of metformin. So let's see how metformin works and what is the molecular mechanism of action of metformin. Metformin when taken orally is absorbed into the hepatocyte from the portal vein through transporters that is organic cation transporters that are expressed in the hepatocyte membrane. These transporters facilitate the intake of metformin into the cells. Once metformin is inside the hepatocyte, it inhibits the mitochondrial respiratory chain and inhibition of mitochondrial respiratory chain decreases the ATP and increases the cyclic AMP concentration. The rise in cyclic AMP concentration activates adenosine monophosphate protein kinase enzyme. And activation of protein kinase enzyme is a key step which plays a very important role in reducing blood glucose levels through various pathways. As we can see in this figure, activated AMP protein kinase is responsible for inhibition of gluconeogenesis. Protein kinase is responsible for phosphorylation. So phosphorylation of the transcription factors that are responsible for gluconeogenesis inhibits gluconeogenesis. So the key enzymes that are responsible for gluconeogenesis are inhibited and this reduces the glucose production by the process of gluconeogenesis. Secondly, activated AMP kinase increases the insulin activity. It increases the expression of insulin receptors on the surface of the hepatocyte, increasing the insulin signaling mechanism and this promotes glucose utilization by various tissues, the muscle and adipose tissue. And also because of insulin activity, gluconeogenesis is inhibited. Thirdly, in the skeletal muscle, activated AMP kinase causes translocation of GLUT4 transporters to the surface of the skeletal muscle. 
The increased expression of GLUT4 transporters and the skeletal muscle increases the uptake of glucose by the skeletal muscle and adipose tissue and helps in glucose utilization by the process of glycolysis. So this helps in reducing the blood glucose levels. Thirdly, metformin acts by blocking the glucagon signaling. As you can see in this figure, glucagon is responsible for the production of glucose by the process of gluconeogenesis and the pathway that is involved in the process of gluconeogenesis is the adenylate cyclase enzyme pathway. So metformin is known to inhibit adenylate cyclase thereby inhibiting the glucagon signaling pathway and decreases the glucose production in the liver. So metformin by inhibiting the glucagon signaling reduces the glucose production in the liver and this in turn helps in lowering the blood glucose level. Metformin is proposed to increase the circulating levels of peptide hormone growth factors and these peptide hormone growth factors reduce the food intake and decrease obesity as we know that obesity is related to insulin resistance. So by reducing the body weight, the insulin sensitivity is improved and the glucose utilization by various tissues is improved. Also metformin is known to alter the microflora of the gut. By altering the microbiome of the gut, this slows down the absorption of glucose from the intestine and this helps in controlling the blood glucose level. In addition, metformin is useful in diabetic patients with dyslipidemia. Metformin through AMP protein kinase activity causes inhibition of the transcription factors that are responsible for lipogenesis. So through AMP kinase activity, it reduces lipogenesis, reduces fat accumulation in the liver. It also enhances the fatty acid oxidation in the liver. It reduces the levels of lipoproteins such as LDL, VLDL and increases HDL which is considered to be a protective lipoprotein. In this way, metformin is useful in improving the lipid profile of the patient and is useful in diabetic patients with dyslipidemia and increased risk of cardiovascular events. So in this video, we have discussed the molecular mechanism of metformin and the clinical and metabolic benefits of metformin in the management of type 2 diabetes mellitus. So thank you for watching. If you find my video useful, please like and subscribe to this channel.